What's up guys, my name is Doe, and today I'm gonna teach y'all how to ride your dragon. Okay, but none of that none of that weird stuff though. Just just a simple, wholesome video on how to slay your dragon. Okay, god. It's gonna be a video on how to use the lasso mode on Malkarian and kill it that way. So basically doing roughly a hundred percent damage, or in, in, like you could honestly just do a hundred percent damage to Malkarian while being in the air. And being in the mantle mode for Malkarian, and that's what I did in this video roughly. I hit it one time before I got in the freaking mantle mode, but don't even bring that up. It's not a big deal. Now, to do this, all you gotta do is be using the Skullforge helmet, have a lot of good damage cells, and be using the chain blades, axe, or the hammer. You can probably use other weapons, but these are the three weapons I suggest to use. The chain blades being my favorite to use because they're very consistent. And for the chain blades, use the secondary attack to do the damage you want to do and maintain stamina with Skullforge and not get knocked off in this mode. And for the hammer and the axe, you want to use the, I think, primary attacks because those hit really fast and they roughly offset the stamina cost, although I think you'll still be using too much stamina using those attacks. So the chain blades are my favorite pick, but those weapons will all work if you do it properly. Now, in this mode, Malkarian will try and knock you off using a couple moves. Some of the most common moves are going to be Slamming the ground, which this will not knock you off, but whenever it starts to glow yellow and turn on its side, you have to jump off before it turns on its side or else it will knock you off during this move. And then for other things, whenever it's enraging or during Aether mode, you have to jump at the very apex of Malkarian going into the air because that will give you enough time to lasso back onto it before it touches the ground. And aside from, like, aside from that, you just try and figure out like what knocks you off because it's going to be some tail spins and then see the orb attacks. Those will all knock you off, but you can you can maintain this awesome mode, especially in solo mode. It's very simple, and this is also a very good thing to do if you're going for a tail break in a group that's not very coordinated, because you can break off the tail by yourself. With chain blades, you can knock it off if you have sharpened very very fast. If you don't have sharpened, it can still go really fast. Just it just won't be as fast. So you can get your tail break and secure it by yourself, and that's pretty cool. But that is gonna be the video for today, guys. Hopefully you liked it, and be. Be ready for some future videos I'm making. I'm currently making a tier list video for the weapons in Escalation, and I want to make some cell videos, talking about what cells I think are good right now, and stuff like that. So we'll see when those get done, and uh, yeah. But anyway, y'all, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.